we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. Remember those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. And in the times that we're in right now, we definitely need to know how the world works. Much love. To those who purchased the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. And remember, the New World Order cryptos are in my Patreon. Plus, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. And that is so important because as we can see right now, we have the first quarter main event. And we know they're going to ride this towards the end of the year. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And as we can see, we have pulled back. We have options tomorrow, but I definitely see a decent weekend, guys. Now we have the SEC approves TCRIM Bitcoin Futures ETF, which is amazing. They keep opening the casino up. That spot Bitcoin ETF. They don't want yet because it's going to stabilize the price. It's going to help end the casino because that will allow real institutional money to flow into Bitcoin. You have to understand that. Now, when it comes to Ethereum, we know Ethereum moves right along with Bitcoin unless there is an upgrade or separate itself, decouple itself, and then fall right back in line. So we know when Bitcoin falls, Ethereum is going to fall, DeFi is going to fall, the rest of the market is going to fall. We know the Fed is going to use the SEC to trim down all these cryptos, over 18,000. So therefore, the Fed can start shrinking all this liquidity and start moving it into the fourth industrial revolution. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, I told you we're going to hear a lot of great news, and that's all we've been getting this week as wonderful news, but it's not affecting the price. And that's how it's going to be this year. While this liquidity is going to be shrinking, we're going to have pumps and dumps, but we're going to be headed down. Off the news, we're going to have certain cryptos that are definitely going to pump, like in a normal bear market. Now, we have 19% of Bitcoin's hash rate is now controlled by publicly traded companies. And we know once we go inside of this bear market, there's only going to be a handful of Bitcoin miners left. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. And we have Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, and Dries and my guy. They are headed into India. They are live. And you're talking about billions of people. Remember what Brian Brooks stated. They were on a mission to build the digital economy. Also, we have Goldman Sachs to offer over-the-counter Ethereum options. Remember, guys, they announced the Bitcoin options. Now they're going to be doing Ethereum options. Why are they coming in now? That's right, to take your money. That's what this is all about. 
We know on television, they're going to let us know. Everything is okay. But if you understand finances, if you understand numbers, if you're going to be raising rates, as the Fed stated, it's going to kill the economy. We have a $9 trillion balance sheet, but we know they have that solution. The robots, algorithms, and drones, and by turning fiat currency, that's printing money, over to a digital currency, nothing is going to be real. Is this numbers moving backwards and forwards? They're not spending not one dime. Just imagine the money that the Fed spends on printing and security. I did a video on that, but blockchain is going to fix all of that. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. But guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators, yield rates. Yield rates are very important, and we see they are rising. I think mortgage, 30-year mortgage rate is over 5%. Hasn't been there since 2018. But we have volume tether USDC. Now, we have UST Terra Stablecoin gets launched on Binance staking up to 19% APY, which is amazing. Yes, you heard that correct. And we have Senator Toomey releases a draft bill for framework of stable coins. So we're slowly starting to see them push this digital economy while the sheep are asleep. And you guys know I mapped it out a long time ago. Then also, guys, we have the Fed. Do not forget to pay attention to the actual repo. And then plus we have Janet Yellen that's going to be speaking today. Of course, I'm going to bring you that. Now, we have Grayscale drops down to about $39.4 billion, almost $2 billion. Remember, make sure you're paying attention to the actual Grayscale well. It's going to be very important over these next two days to see where they're going, to see what type of weekend we have, and then, of course, the repo. Make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis and yield rate. Now, let's get over into a little crypto news. We got ProShares. Files for an ETF that actually shorts Bitcoin. And this makes the casino very interesting. Because if you're not a trader, this is an easy way for you to actually short Bitcoin. I'm not your financial advice, not financial advice. But please do your own research. Now we have Cash App unveils three products. One, to auto-invest a portion of your salary in Bitcoin. Second, invest spare change. And third, to send and receive Bitcoin over the Lightning Network. Now, we have 21 shares launches Metaverse ETP via the SAND token. And we know 21 shares is Kathy Woods. Also, we have payments company Bolt to buy wire for $1.5 billion to add crypto options. Plus, the Philippines' top payment provider, PayMaya, adds crypto. So we see a lot of these fintech applications adding crypto as an option. And that's the reason why stable coins are going to be so, so important. Now we have Singapore fintech as Bitcoin payments for merchants with BitPay partnership. Crypto Accept allows online sellers to accept Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now we have HBAR Foundation commits $250 million dollars to drawing Metaverse apps to its platform. Also, we have Andreessen, my God, invest in Improbable, the Metaverse firm. They raised over $150 million for Web3 development. Now we have Hash lead $6.5 million round for Lovo's AI-backed voice NFTs. And yes, you heard that correct. And lastly, guys, we have ESPN and Tom Brady Inc., a multi-year NFT deal. Also, we have the UFC to pay out fight bonuses in Bitcoin for its upcoming pay-per-view event. And guys, we know what they do. They use the athletes, actors, actresses to push the New World Order's agenda. Remember, if they can see it, they will believe it. And this is how they move adoption. If the masses understood the technology, they could be making money as well. But unfortunately, just like this current economy, they don't want to understand finances. And the same thing is going to go inside of the digital world. If you don't understand finances, if you don't know how the technology works, and that's all that's going to be moving forward in the fourth industrial revolution is technology. Like Jerome Powell stated, a lot of people are going to be left behind. Remember, technology can be used for good or evil. 
So if the right people know the technology, they can use it for good. But unfortunately, it's in the hands of evil. That's why it's so important to wake the masses. Wake your friends and family. Because once they enter into the metaverse, they're not coming out. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows. When it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, if you to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks. The C word, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and y'all have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.